a pool and spa with a lot of combined chlorine. They had a party. I'm going to go ahead and show you how much is in here. According to the test, you can see that it has combined chlorine with probably almost three, three parts per million. And the free chlorine is really low. It's down to one part per million or less. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do in this case. So in the case where you have a lot of combined chlorine, like in this pool here, you want to shock the pool by at least 10 parts per million. So depending on what sanitizer you use is what level you're going to achieve by the product. This um, trichlor shock one bag for this size pool should do the trick to raise it to 10 parts per million. And I'll probably need about two bags of Calhypo. This pool's about 14,000 gallons. And you can also use regular liquid chlorine or Clorox bleach that also raise up your free chlorine level, but you have to use quite a bit of it to achieve the level of 10 parts per million to shock the pool. I'm going to put some Cal Hypo in here and turn the pool on and let it run. I'll put two bags of Cal Hypo to shock this pool. I'm also going to set the pool to run longer. I'm going to give it 8 hours here. You can also run it 24 hours if your pool is cloudy. This one wasn't too cloudy. I'm going to give it a little longer run time. And if the pool is really cloudy, you can actually turn it past the off here and let it run for 24 hours and it'll go around until it gets back to the off tripper again. That will also clear it up pretty quickly. The reason why you want to shock the pool is you want to bring it up to 10 parts per million. You want to break the ammonia nitrogen bond that it has on the chlorine. You can also use a oxidizer like this shock trine and you could find something similar. As long as it has the ingredient, the potassium monopersulfate that helps break up the combined chlorine and remove the contaminants in the water also along with shocking the pool. So I'm going to actually add two bags of this into this pool to kind of break up the combined chlorine. Again, you can see it's pretty clear, but it does show a high level of combined chlorine, and that happens sometimes. You'll have clear water, but you'll have the ammonia smell. You'll notice that when you get out of the pool, you'll smell chemically and you'll have a, a really bad odor on your swimsuits and towels. Broadcast this in here. And I'll add two bags. So I'm gonna check it and see how the shock has done the next day. And the key is to shock the pool, run it a lot longer than normal to circulate the water, and add the shock trine or similar chemical that will break up the combined chlorine in the pool. You should have no problems the next day or two once you do all that. You can see by adding the shock trine and the shock in here, this pool already has, by testing it the next day, you'll see that the uh, total chlorine is back up to where it's supposed to be. The combined chlorine is gone and the free chlorine levels are pretty high. So it's an effective treatment if you have uh, combined chlorines and you have that ammonia smell that you notice when you get out of the pool. Here's a good example of the pool that has the problem with the combined chlorine. You can see that it's really cloudy and you can, I can smell an ammonia smell coming from the water. And this pool was really killed over the weekend with a party. You can see the cloudiness in here. So the two signs we look for are cloudiness and the ammonia smell. I just tested the chlorine, it's showing no chlorine in the pool, which I suspect is part of the cloudiness. You can also show that it's in the Aquacheck strip, it's showing combined chlorine in the pool, which is not good for the water. That shows that there's definitely chlorine present. I'm going to throw in a couple bags of shock to bring the chlorine level up quickly and to help clear up the water. And I'm going to add two bags of the shock trying to oxidize the pool. So I'm going to hit add the shock to the pool also. And it should clear up. I have I've had good results by using the shock trying and the shock. 
to get a pool that has this kind of condition and shape really quick.